Meg grinds her teeth as Netflix threw swanky premiere for Emily in Paris season 3 while stopped funding the Sussexes show. Netflix threw a lovely and glam premiere for Emily in Paris while they stopped sponsoring the Sussexes project. Lily Collins and Ashley Park hug it out at the season 3 premiere of Emily in Paris. The two actresses had a cute moment at the red carpet event held at the Théâtre de Champs Elysees on Tuesday, December the 6th in Paris, France. Speaking to E.T. at the event, Lily teased that this season will end with another big cliffhanger. Earlier this week, the cast was seen at a private luncheon event at Café de la Homme. The series will return to Netflix on December the 21st. You can stream the first two seasons now. Lily wore a Saint Laurent look with Cartier jewellery. Ashley and Camille wore Valentino. Kate wore a Stephanie Rowland dress. Last night was nothing short of a dream, she wrote. I couldn't have asked for a more stunning Paris premiere filled with so much love and celebration. The first we've been able to have in three seasons. With every year, it just keeps getting better and better. So much endless appreciation for this entire cast and crew, this city, the fans, and everyone else who made it happen. Why no premiere gala for the Harkles? I think we know why. They don't want to waste more money on this mess. With the mess that Meg and Harry brought, currently two trailers of this TV show have been received in total, nearly one million dislikes. An internal source confirmed that Netflix will not invest any more if the first episode doesn't receive support from subscribers. Maybe the series will be postponed suddenly and without notice. I also can't help but notice all of the additional content for Wednesday on their YouTube channel. The long lead up to the release date with multiple announcements and the talk about it leading up the release. And here we have nothing till days before the release. I suspect we also won't be getting behind the scenes content either, thank goodness. There won't be a long lasting relationship between Harry, his wife and Netflix. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary hasn't even hit the small screen yet, but its two brief trailers are already causing controversy. It has nothing to do with what the royal couple is planning to reveal during the much anticipated docuseries. Instead, Netflix as well as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are being accused of using misleading stock footage and photos in the two teasers. The trailers each paint a picture of the relentless intrusion the prince and his wife faced at the hands of the press after their 2018 wedding. A factor, they say, led to their decision to step back as working members of the royal family and move to California to pursue a more private life on their own terms. According to the BBC, at least three of the images used in the trailers are believed to have been taken from events that had nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. As well, there have been accusations of deceptive cropping of at least one photo and using a video to create an illusion of press intrusion, when in fact the photographer who captured the footage was invited and known to the couple. Not directed at you in particular, but those that still have Netflix. I don't want to be that guy, but it looks like I have to be. By supporting Netflix, the destroyer of images, the Nestle pillager of streaming services, are you not funding the harpies of MO, the shit show? This is the only way to stop these culture devastating, only sucking corporations. I'm so sorry that I had to be that guy. My TED rant is over. Thank you.